Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'll be going over some basics of um, UV unwrapping and stuff. Um, I did this video just a second ago and I realised there's no sound so I'm redoing it again. Alright, first thing first is I already unwrapped the model with um, smart um, UV projection and yeah. So now I decided to add some seams as well. Um, so the first thing first, we what we can do is we can actually check if our auto unwrap um, have any artifact. If you hit N to bring up this um, this tool shelf, you can click um, this um, tick, uh, this little box here, right? And it will show you if um, your UVs are distorted and if um, the textures are going sort of stretch and when you put it on there. Um, a good way, actually, most of them look pretty good, so to actually see what's going on, like, you can tell if it changed different colours, other from dark blue, you know, it kind of hints with, you know, where it's good and where it's kind of turning a bit, so, yeah, I felt like I should pop, uh, point that out, and um, also, if you're going to take your um, textures into, like, Photoshop, or GIMP and you actually go and do the textures yourself other from a, uh, another software you can go down here and export out your UV layout very very handy alright so now that said and done what we can do is we can select all these and we can do pin all that does is lock all our UVs in one place they, they can't move now so if I well, okay, they can move, but they can't. Um, you can't unwrap them again properly. So, pretty much all I want to show you, right, is already mark some seams. If you don't know how to mark seams, all you do is you pretty much select uh, some edge loops, polygons, or vertex, and over on its uh, tab here, you can see mark mark seams, and you can mark seams, and you can also clear seams. So yeah, um, and a little technique I want to show you is quite often I do use um, smart um, UV projection. Um, it's really good start to unwrap, but it isn't the best. So I use it like weight painting. It's brilliant to give you a good st start and run. You know, if, if it works, it works. If it don't work, well then you got to touch it up a little bit. So now we've selected our um, part we have actually marked seams on. If I go down here and do unpin, and now I can actually do uh, just unwrap that. Now I'm going to select my whole model. You can kind of see these um, the stuff I just unwrapped is now kind of overlapping all our other stuff. What we don't want. So what we do now is we can unpin all these as well, and if make sure you're in the UV editing um, panel screen or whatever, and hit Control A and Control P, and you can if you keep hitting P, you can keep um, repackaging the UVs. So if you're not quite happy with how they turn out, you can keep hitting that and seeing, flicking through them and seeing if there is one you prefer. All, all that does is pretty much it scales everything down to the uh, correct size for the texture. Um, so let's say you don't you don't really want one um, UV huge compared to the whole um, the rest of the UVs because then your textures would be out whack. Less um, that. You, you can scale some UVs down, it depends if it's like on the inside of the model and you're not going to really see it. it technically it would be better off deleting that, but if for some reason you can't in the scale them buggers down, they're, they're not needed. <laughs> or do put them somewhere else. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in um, this tutorial. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Till next time, catch you later.